item shop video. So, I'm really excited to see what's new on the Fortnite item shop for today. So, let's just jump right in and check it out. Let's see what's on the item shop. I wonder if we have anything new today. Uh, oh, they brought back the Inferno's Quest pack. Such a good skin over here. Look at this. Just awesome. That's cool to see that today. Anything else? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Uh, X2 Twins Lock are still here. Nathan Drake and Uncharted skins are here as well. John Cena is still on the shop. Uh, Cloaked Shadow is back. We have the Plunger. Master of Puppets is back. Everybody's going to be happy about that. Uh, Prismatic Glider is actually nice. Good seeing that here. Mega Team Shadow, Shadow Strike Pack, Bell Berry has returned, Arachne, and Spider Knight. Okay, you usually don't see this set that often. That's actually pretty special seeing that today. And brand new skin, Rift Warden Stellan. Wow, that looks awesome. Warden's Oath, Rift Warden's Rament. I hope I said that right. How do you even pronounce that? Okay, we're going to check out that new skin. If you are picking up anything on the Fortnite item shop today or on the Epic Games store, be sure to use code ASMR Gaming. So, let's check out the new skin. Rift Warden Stelland, the head alchemist of the Oathbound. Okay, that's actually pretty awesome. Cool, cool armor. I love the armor on this. Wow. I think, I think I like that helmet. Where's, okay. The second style is just called Helmed. Yeah, I like the second style. That helmet is amazing. That looks super cool. Wow. What a nice skin. 1,500 V-Bucks. Not a bad price. I might pick this up. There's just one thing that is a little bit creepy. And it's these, like, hands on the shoulders. What is that about? Because, uh, I don't know. That looks a little bit scary to me. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, we have the Warden's Star back bling. That's nice. Ceremonial Shield of the High Rift Warden. The Warden's Oath. Very nice sword. Wow, this looks like one of those special swords you would find in a game. Like, in the final dungeon or secret area, you'd get like an amazing sword like this. That looks awesome. A gift from the Ageless Champion. We have the Rift Warden's Rament. I think I said that right. Uh, and the Warden's Watch loading screen. Wow, what a loading screen. That's cool. The eyes of the kingdom are upon you. That is an awesome loading screen. Check that out. Lots of attitude there with the pose. Cool skin. I might have to get this one. I, I really like it. It's kind of like the, the Battle Pass skin a little bit. This one that you get at the end of the Battle Pass. I'm getting close to the end. Kind of like this. Just a little bit. Um, I don't know whose armor I like more. Like this one does not have like the creepy hands on the shoulders. But I do like the rest of the armor and the helmet for the other one on the item shop right now. So I don't know. They're both they're both really good skins. So I can see that I can see this being popular. Let me know in the comments what you think of Rift Warden Stellan. Uh, then we got the Arachnid bu bundle. Uh, this is all based around Arachnids, aka spiders. So we got the Spider Knight skin. They'll fall into your web. Kind of creepy, but that's why people really like this uh, this set here. The Spider Shield, spun from endless strands. The Arachne skin, weave a web to victory. Got the long legs, back bling, stretch your legs. The web breaker, this has a nice sound to it. Check that out. We have the Widow's Web Wrap. And the Hatchling Glider, along came a glider. Very, very cool glider. <laughs> but if you're scared of spiders, definitely do not get this one. Good set, though. Good set. Lots of great stuff. I really like this harvesting tool because it makes a nice sound. And I like how the more you swing it, 
the more like the eye here becomes more and more red. Kind of cool. And uh, over here we have the Jam Junction bundle with Bell Berry. I honestly did not realize how popular this skin got. Like, a lot of people were using this uh, in like the last, I would say, three months, two months. I've been seeing more people use this, so not sure if some streamers or YouTubers made it more popular, but definitely saw more people with Bell Berry. All that and a dollop of whipped cream. Uh, three different styles. Uh, you can see here. You can switch it up. Got the Bro Senberry back bling. That's awesome. He's got your back, literally. I like the sunglasses. Maceberry Mauler. That looks spiky. Very nice animation, though. I swear Fortnite sometimes like really goes ex the extra mile with the uh, animations for these. Like, look at that sparkles in the shape of a heart just for this like why can't we get like cool animations for everything like like even this this should have like a, a super cool like star explosion or something i don't know when you strike with it instead we get that it's okay but like it would be nice if they gave us a little more uh it's very dangerous <laughs> here we have the berry sweet wrap that actually looks delicious uh, that makes that makes me want like a nice dessert later. <laughs> uh, pretty cool. Then we got the Shadow Strike pack with the Shadow Archetype skin engineered in the shadows for combat performance. Comes with a Dark Paradigm back bling utility in the darkness. We got the Mega Team Shadow skin Shadow Assembly required, and the Shadow Jet Set back bling powered up and ready for shadowy action. Over here we have Knight Gunner. I have this one. The future looks knight. Very good skin. Comes with a night bag. Back bling. If it, it was a dark and stormy bag. Great skin. Highly recommend. This entire set is very underrated. More people should be buying these skins. There's also the Shadow Combo Cleavers. Swinging Shadows Force. And the Shadow Caliper. Dark Precision. These are good harvesting tools. Especially if you're trying to get a combo going with, uh, you know, back bling and um, one of these skins, definitely pick up one of the harvesting tools. Here we have Spartan Assassin. One by one, her enemies fall. It's an okay skin. I'm not going to say it's like my favorite or anything. I don't have this one, but I know people use this. It is slightly popular in Arena. You know, I, I do find people wearing this one. Uh, cloaked Shadow. Wow, this, this skin has been in the game for many, many seasons. Cast an Ominous Shadow. Kind of a creepy skin. I like the glowing eyes, though. And the shadow wings look amazing on a lot of different skins. Soar in the Shadows. Great skin to get. The Plunger. Fun fact, they made this specifically for Ninja back in, like, Season 2. Because Ninja was complaining about there not being anything new to buy on the item shop. And it was like, Epic Games, like Fortnite, I want to buy something. I want to give you guys money. I would literally buy anything. And then he said something like even, he would even buy like a toilet plunger. And then shortly after that, they released this on the item shop. And, you know, you can see it's a ninja reference. Because, I mean, ninja, it's called a plunger. It has literally like a ninja's katana going through a plunger as the harvesting tool. So, fun little Fortnite trivia right there. Very, very cool. Uh, that was awesome that they made that for him. Here we got the Master of Puppets emote. I'm pulling your strings. Oh man, such, such a good emote. Definitely recommend this one. If you're a fan of Metallica, this plays Master of Puppets and your friends can join in and uh, play with you, basically. There's like a whole band, so you got like a drummer that can join in and like... Uh, it's awesome. Definitely recommend it. We got the Prismatic Glider. It's so colorful. This goes good if you have any of any any skins that kind of match the colors on this. It's constantly moving. I have the Wonder skin, and the Wonder skin kind of combos with this glider a little bit, so that's awesome. And we have the Few emote. <laughs> I was almost worried for a second. And uh, yeah, that's about it for the item shop today. Uh, like I said, we have the Inferno's quest pack over here with Inferno and the Crimson Scythe 
and the burn mark wrap, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So thank you all for listening, for watching, and I'll see you all next time. So long.